and I remember going there one day and it was, a, it was just a mattress and a lamp. You guys don't know how hard it was to record a guitar video back in the day. I think it was around late 91, early 92. I was 19 years old and I was invited to film my first instructional video, VHS. So let's watch together and let me react to the 19 years old Kiko here. But before we start, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Here we go. Of course, the pink guitar, you're probably like mentioning that now why I'm using a pink guitar but remember the 80s everybody was using those kind of colors and check this out look the 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 like the the hairband hairband hair as you can see that was a angry mountain fan right but I remember on this video I did like maybe four examples, so I played a blues, I played like a metal, Ingvi Malmensen kind of a harmonic minor thing. This is a Tajima guitar, it's a Brazilian made guitar, ebony fretboard. Oh. Yeah, so ebony fretboard, I think it was mahogany body, it's a pretty solid guitar. And uh, look, <laughs> my hair, great. So let me tell you the story of this day. I went to the studio. It was around maybe like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., very early in the morning. We set up the stuff, you know, the cameras, like those huge cameras. Those, <laughs> you know, there's no amp, as you can see. I used to have like a Zoom, a 9002, I think is the, the model. It was like a little little thing there and it was uh, just connected straight to the mixing board. I would never imagined this video would be in the online. Well, you know, 91. So guess what? Nobody would imagine that internet would exist. Whatever was just like a, just a lesson for me. So I, I took my Zoom and uh, this guitar and uh, the Jackson back there was a, was a brand new guitar the Jackson guys uh, gave me. And uh, I think it was the first year of Jackson in Brazil, so they gave me a guitar. But I was just a guitar student. I think Angra was about to start. We were like preparing the first demo. So it's like, this is really old. So you can see my, my hair there, my face. And you wonder why I'm so, I look so tired and so bored. Because I, I was there very early in the morning. We set up everything. I recorded the entire uh, video like repeating and trying to do many times the same thing and at the end of the session maybe 7 p.m. like the entire day the guy back in the other room uh, whatever the editor guy he came and said oh we finished but I'm sorry I forgot to press the super VHS so now we don't have a master tape so we have to redo the whole thing so then I said, you know what, let's do it right now because I have this thing, I think, uh, since uh, the early days that if you start doing something, you have to finish. That's why I look so tired and sweaty and the hair is like all over the place. Uh, yeah, it was fun. And for me, when I look myself like talking, it's kind of weird, but anyways. It's Portuguese, of course. And, uh, and the cool thing, let me see here. Well, I'm like explaining all the modes, scales, and whatever. Some licks. But the cool thing is this. The backing track, I remember it was like this little Yamaha. A Q, Y, whatever, a 10 or 20 or something. It was a little a drum machine where you could program a bass. <laughs> so, very primitive. Anyway, so. That's why you have this weird snare sound, it's hi-hat. So watching this, I remember I had to, to stop playing for a month. I used to have tendinitis. Of course, as you can see, I'm super skinny. But then I did this video, but I remember the studio was so hot because of the lights. And then it was okay to record with no pain. Some good memories from that day. 
I remember the guys filming there, they asked me if I could play whatever just to create transitions in, in between the examples. So the Zoom had a harmonizer, so I just put a harmonizer and played some chromatic stuff, whatever. I like those effects. It's more like a Lydian kind of Joe Satriani vibe now. But the thing of this, this house, there was two guys with the big cameras and I remember going there a few times. So they were doing like uh, VHS, uh, guitar, like different instruments, you know, uh, instructional videos for uh, computer stuff like Word and Excel, things like this. And I remember going there one day and it was, a, it was just a mattress and a lamp. So it, you can imagine what kind of videos they were doing there as well, you know, to pay the bills probably. But anyways, I remember also, if you go to the kitchen to, you know, to grab a coffee or something, there was like maybe 30 or 40 VCR, right? Uh, VCR. So you have the master and then uh, other v uh, VCRs doing the copies, you know, early days. I think it's pretty good if you imagine that I just played, you know, uh, like probably it was like first take, maybe two takes, I don't remember, but it was like straight. It's interesting to, to, to watch that because a lot of stuff that I still play is there already. And I started playing electric guitar when I was 15. I remember like 16 years old, I was like really practicing. When I was 15, I was not really like practicing all the time, but I got into it when I was 16. So like during those uh, three years, I was very organized the way I was practicing. I was very dedicated and uh, I was always trying to uh, develop better ways to, to learn absorb new information, but in, in trying to be like very precise the way I was practicing and not only playing many hours, but really divide my time into different subjects and uh, different techniques and trying to study different styles of music, studying harmony, composition and different techniques. So I was really like worried about the quality of my time spent with the guitar. Uh, versus you know how many hours I was playing because at that time I was going to school I was doing all the stuff so I didn't have that many hours weekends I remember like playing the entire day you know during the week it, I probably was practicing two three hours I guess you know maybe one hour technique other hour harmony learning songs playing with friends the uh, creating those backing tracks and improvising over it so yeah, it was like intense three years. So if you're practicing guitar and if you're starting now with YouTube and so many other options, it's so much easier to evolve in maybe one, two years, I guess. So, so here you can have an idea what you can learn in three years, what, 27 years ago, <laughs> so. That's cool. It's interesting in the beginning when I started, because I'm left-handed, I was doing way more legatos and hammer-ons, and uh, now I'm much more like right-handed. Oops, mistake there, right there. It's a pattern. Oops, yeah. Well, it happens. No Pro Tools, right? No Pro Tools to correct or do something, that's, that's it. I have kind of this 80s hair, like... <laughs> well, you know. Oh, that's the pattern I did. So I think I was like improvising, but I had in mind some licks so I could show. Kind of not so great, but anyways. You see, like practicing slowly, play it again. So, you know, that's, there's, there's no secret. You just have to play slowly and then, you know, uh, 
Yeah, see? You know. And I say like, again, <laughs> but that guy didn't cut it. Now it was right. I probably did like play it wrong and the guy said again and the guy kept everything. <laughs> Anyways, I, I was invited to do this uh, video because of my teacher, Mozart Mello, but I didn't have a band. I didn't have, you know, nothing was happening. I didn't have a career at all. So this is kind of my, my debut. <laughs> and um, it was really good for me because this video went, was the first a video in Portuguese teaching rock in Brazil. So suddenly my name was, you know, uh, was out there and then things started to happen, you know, invitations for clinics or things like this in 91, 92. You never know, you know, what can happen to your career. I was just this kid playing in my room. There was no YouTube videos. So I was just this guy playing only for me or maybe some friends. And suddenly I had that video so it's interesting because I had the dream of being a guitar player. I was, I was not that sure about it. I was doing, I think, yeah, back then I was doing a biology university or I was just about to start a biology university. So I was not sure about being a professional musician, but of course my passion, guitar was my passion. So this invitation was a big thing, was a huge thing for my career because it was the debut of everything. And then after with Angra and the guitar clinics and, you know, the whole career happened. So it's very hard to predict what's going to happen to your career. So the fact that that day everything went wrong, but I did the video, it kind of shows a little bit the attitude that I had uh, back in the day. I still do it like this, you know, like the being resilient and uh, being persistent. Everything that I start, I really want to finish. Sometimes it's not perfect, sometimes it's not great, but I do it. And then if you keep doing like this uh, throughout the years, you're going to go somewhere. It's really nice to watch that. Besides the mistakes and besides the, the you know, I look so awkward, you know, to talk in front of the camera. By the way, back, back in the day, nobody had a camera. You know, it was not common to, ha to have a camera. So I think it was the first time I was talking to a camera in my life. So, uh, yeah, so it was another difficult thing there. It's ending now. Thanks. I just said, like, thanks the guys for the patient because, you know, I was hard that day. I remember, like, let's do it, man. Let's finish. Oh, the, the baby face. Baby face. <laughs> it's funny. So now the credits. It looks like there, there were a lot of people there working, but actually there were three people and me. So basically the name of the guy, then the family name, then the nickname, it's like the same guy. Anyways, it's funny. All right. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. So if you wanna watch the whole video, the link is here in the description. And uh, yeah, let's watch a little bit more. See ya.